Professor Tomas Gomez is a professor of marketing and global business at St. Mary's College and has recently published in the area of expert subsidies, customs union, offshoring, and etc. Professor Gomez. So what has been tried uh, out there? Uh, we are not the only country in the world, and uh, Professor Kamath has uh, explained to us how some of these problems have uh, global roots. And in fact, uh, we can see that many of these problems uh, have local roots in, in most countries. Uh, we can think of uh, sinners out there, uh, countries like uh, uh, like the UK, like Ireland, like Iceland, like, uh, like Spain, like Greece, who went through something very similar, uh, very loose monetary policies, uh, loose uh, uh, a, a real estate boom uh, that has exploded, just like, uh, like in the US. Uh, and we have groups of countries out there, like China, like Germany, like, like Japan, who relied on uh, exports uh, for their growth. And as such, that was also unbalanced. And, and we have found that uh, what we thought was virtue, uh, it, it's actually a dangerous imbalance that can come to, uh, to bite those, those countries. Uh, so what is being tried uh, uh, out there to, uh, to try and solve this problem? Uh, in terms of uh, uh, the banking situation, uh, one of the things that many people out there are suggesting is nationalization. Uh, uh, the fact that we are nationali nationalizing things here, uh, uh, if, uh, if you just look at the hard numbers, uh, the, the federal government owns uh, Freddie Mae, Freddie Mac, uh, AIG, uh, Citibank, large chunks of uh, Bank of America. Uh, uh, if you consider that General Motors and Chrysler are pretty much bankrupt. Uh, we also own them uh, because we are the largest creditor. Um, uh, so what do we do about it? We might as, be, uh, as well be more explicit about it, like uh, uh, in the UK where they have nationalized uh, Northern Rock and Royal Bank of Scotland and uh, uh, to a large extent uh, Joyce TSB. Uh, uh, definitely the whole Icelandic banking system has been nationalized. Uh, in, uh, uh, in Sweden, uh, when, when they had a similar uh, banking crisis, uh, that was the solution, uh, pretty much taking over the whole banking system, uh, clearing, it, uh, clearing it of uh, all the uh, toxic assets that might lie in their balance sheets and then privatize the, the banking system again. Uh, is that something we are, we are willing to do? Some countries are, are trying to do it. It has some advantages. Uh, when you own the banking system, you can inject liquidity into the, into the economy much more efficiently. Uh, uh, at the same time, governments are not very good at running banks, unless you consider running them into the ground uh, uh, one of the alternatives. Uh, in terms of uh, stimulus packages, uh, there are some stimulus packages already going around out there. Uh, we are just starting to think about ours. Uh, the one in China is already underway, half a trillion dollars in, uh, in spending. Uh, another half a trillion dollars or so is, uh, uh, is underway in Germany. Uh, it's still uh, unclear what the effect will be uh, uh, in, in those packages. In China, it will probably be more efficient. They have much more infrastructure to build. Uh, uh, in, in Germany, uh, I think pretty much all the autobahns are already there. Uh, you just can't put so much concrete on, on the country. Um, uh, so probably will be less efficient uh, than, than in developing countries. Uh, and another area is all those bailouts uh, going on out, out there. We're still thinking about uh, General Motors. Do we give them more, uh, more money or less money, Chrysler? Uh, uh, Germany has a uh, billion dollars ready for, for Opels if uh, uh, someone wants to, to take it. General Motors probably wouldn't, wouldn't sell it because uh, that's the only part of General Motors that makes a little bit of money. Uh, so it, it wouldn't be a good idea to, to sell it. Uh, the Swedish government has uh, $3 billion a piece, a piece for Saab and uh, uh, whoever takes Saab or, or Volvo. Uh, even with, uh, uh, with that sweetener, I don't think anybody is willing to take them. 
Uh, maybe Volvo uh, would, would be taken, but Ford is the only American car manufacturer who is in, in decent shape and that's uh, Volvo's owner. Uh, Saab is, uh, is too much, too entrenched into, into general uh, motors, so it, it's pretty much a goner. Um, um, but the interesting thing about uh, uh, the auto industry, and it seems lots of efforts have been uh, targeted in that direction, is that every single country has its own uh, bailout for the car industry. Uh, and one of the largest problems there is that there's just too much capacity in, in the world. Uh, if uh, every single country is protecting its, its own car industry, uh, we will end up with exactly the same capacity uh, in, uh, out there uh, and exactly the same problems except that we are financing those, uh, uh, those companies. Uh, is, that, uh, is that something attractive? Um, the last point I want to make is there has been a very large crisis uh, that has lasted about almost 20 years now, and that's, that's the one in Japan. Uh, they have gone through deflation, problems in the banking system, toxic assets, uh, problem loans, um, and they have tried everything but the kitchen sink. Uh, they are carefully looking at the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> they have tried uh, driving interest rates down to zero uh, without success. They have tried huge stimulus packages, one after the other, after the other, after the other. Uh, didn't work too much. Uh, they have tried uh, giving people gift cards uh, and without much success. Uh, they have uh, gone straight into the stock market buying shares uh, to prop it up. They are at a 27-year low uh, after, after 20 years. Um, um, they have little left uh, to, uh, uh, to work with. And, and the big question now, are we in, in a similar situation? And the big difference is um, in Japan, uh, they didn't take care of all the toxic assets in, uh, in, in their banking system. Uh, they, they let it lay there hoping that with time, somehow, they will, uh, they will get rid of them. They didn't. And, and that's what we really have to do here, somehow find a way to get rid of them, even, what, even if that means just force banks to write them down, bring them down to zero. If, if that wreaks havoc with their balance sheets, so be it. Shrink those banks, shrink those balance sheets, and then move from there. Thank you.